Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 1. It's here, finally it's here and season 1 was just so good. It was so amazing and season 2 is here. It's been a short wait, you know, like it's been I think uh, it was like a 3 month wait or something. And it's been a very short wait and I'm glad that it is continuing. So yeah, now um, obviously in the previous season we got to see quite a few things we met uh i think quite a lot of characters and there were like uh three main girls as like you know like i think they're the three main characters like you know the three main heroines uh Silphet, uh roxy and eris these three characters and now currently we are with eris and richard we're going trying to go back to and trying to find you know our mom and dad uh paul and uh i think i forgot the mom's name uh, was it zenith i can't remember it was something like that i can't remember so you know we're trying to find them and at the same time roxy is like also trying to find uh rudius uh, with the paul's adventuring friends you know and let's see whether they meet or not and uh i'm sure they'll, they'll meet eventually but probably not now so let's see how this goes and what happens. So yeah, like season one was fantastic. I'm really looking forward to what season two brings. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is season two of Mushoku Tensei. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's sand, yeah. Is this the first time she's seen the... I think so, ocean. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Um I don't think so. Okay, Rudy, calm down. God. Oh, never mind. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Rudy's face, my god. Oh, there's Roxy. Wow, nice. Is this is this a oh I forgot. Uh, Mushku Tensei don't really has have an opening in season one as well. It had an opening, but they did not show us that. So I'm guessing season 2 will also be something like that. Whoa, what the? Is that a chicken? I'm sorry, I'm bad with animals. Hmm. <laughs> wow. So many different type of um people you know people monsters oh no they missed each other wait wait were they on that ship and they just passed by just just a sec oh no they just missed each other Oh my Mad <laughs> Guard of I what <laughs> Oh 
Horn. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Get a master. Okay. Wait, what's... Wait, I, I wasn't able to follow. Oh my god, it happens, like, at the same time, I wasn't able to follow either of it. I'll have to check that out after it, this episode ends. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's okay. Hmm. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to make money then, I guess. And uh, nah. <laughs> uh. No, don't don't even nah. Don't even think about selling it. Yeah. Oh, he took on me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> nah, he, he can probably give some hints, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, that guy is a jokester. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Damn. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's hear it. Five foot from the camera. Oh my god, these advices are kind of scary in a way. I doubt he'll say that. I don't think he'll say that. Ah. Like, you know, like, knowing the future like this in vague terms is kind of scary in a way. Like, now he's going to think what's going to happen. Like, previously he did it. He followed his instructions and look what happened in a weird way. So. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, Rox. Wait, Rox is here. Oh no, if Rudius was here, everything would have been okay. This so close to each other, Roxy and oh my god, and they just keep missing missing each other. <laughs> yeah. 
Everyone's looking at him in a weird way. Um. Yeah. Oh, that's blue hair. What the? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> God. Oh my God, come on! What? Oh, food. Bring food. Oh, is this that girl? That little girl? The dragon girl or what? Three hundred years. <laughs> now that's over dramatic. Yeah, you know what to do. You know what to do. Yep, it's her. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Another year? Yeah. <laughs> What's she doing? Kishirika? Kishirika Kishirishu? Okay. Kishiri? I forgot. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, finally someone understands. No one's calling me crazy now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's happening? Whoa, what? What? <laughs> Only one? Okay, I guess better than nothing. Oh. <laughs> Why half? Why not full? <laughs> um. <laughs> um. What the? <laughs> What's happening? This is barely the first episode. This incarnation. Oh, wait, what? Oh, mm. No! You need to first put Anastasia, you know? You should not pull out eyes. You need to numb that. The <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, what? She actually gave him demon eyes?
Wait, what's happening? Is he oh is he like seeing the future? Oh my god, is that what's happening? He's kind of seeing the future a little There you go. I have foresight. Wow, this is handy. This will be very handy. Especially in fights. Where oh <coughs> Um, oh, all right. Okay, future. Let's see what's what's he going to do. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Wait, what? She knows her? Oh. Twelve demon eyes. Oh. <laughs> hmm. You, you should keep start like wearing an eye patch or something, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, no, y you don't. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, interesting. Two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Oh my god. Very handy. He beat Ares in swordsmanship. Like just imagine. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, I think. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, now she's sulking. Oh. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, he's just going to flick you away. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, <coughs> hmm, never yeah, still. Ah. Oh.
Okay. Wait, where, where is it going? Is he like going to sell it or something? I feel as if he's... Yeah, he, he's going to sell it. Oh boy. No, that is not that. He's uh, yeah. Yeah, again, like he did this before as well, and it did not end well. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so he's saying that's throwing away. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh, this guy. Oh, is he like a smuggler or something? Color screener. Um, okay. Oh, this is the ending, isn't it? All right, let's hear the ending. The first season ending was beautiful. Was that Ghislaine? Why is Rudius' portion? Wait, what's happening? Why is Rudius' portion like that? Wow, this is, this is a good song. <laughs> wow.
Oh, that's the end? Yep, that's the end. Alright, so this was the first episode of season 2. I think this is season 2. Is the li like, they're listing this as episode th 13 or 12? Something like that. But, like, it is, like, you know, it is written that the, this is season 2. So I'm going to call it uh, Mushku Tensei season 2, episode 1. So, okay, this was episode 1 of season 2, Mushoku Tensei. Now, <clears throat> we resume from obviously like the previous season, last episode, and here something happens which I never expected. Roxy and them are basically at the same place and they just missed each other. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, they. Okay, just to say, let me just check that portion again. Okay, um, they come to the port, and when they're walking at the port, <clears throat> I think the ship comes, just a sec. Yeah, the ship is arriving. Is, is that Roxy's ship? I think so. I think that was Roxy's ship. So they're just getting in, and the ship is, wow. And not only that, Roxy even saw Richard and Eris training and bad luck that R Rudy was not there. And even even after that, like, you know, like Rudy is going f forward and Roxy just like crossed the road. My God, what the hell? <laughs> okay, one thing I missed because it was happening all at the same time. The conversation. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Um, they're talking about uh, the whole, uh, you know, Richard, uh, Rudy, and Eris are there, and then there's like another conversation going on in the background. I'm going to read that. I wasn't able to pay attention to either of it because everything was happening at the same time. So what they're saying is, so anyway, you want passage from the demon continent to the Millis continent <clears throat> uh, the fares five iron coins per human uh, but it's not so easy for spirit even fake ones oh there they've got to pay 2000 green ore coins that's the rules oh okay so what they're saying okay so for Normal people is is five iron coins. I think that's what they said. But for super, it'll be two thousand green ore coins. I'm not sure the actual valuation of green ore coins, but it's probably something really like a huge amount or something. So okay, that's what was uh, what was basically happening. Okay, so <coughs> first of all, Hidogami comes in again, and he gives. Uh, Rudy a hint and Rudy really needed that hint we know because you know like I'm guessing the demon eye will come in handy in the future uh, so now here's the thing <clears throat> as I said this whole thing of telling the future in a vague way like you know like basically what like Hitogami is coming in giving him a little hint and saying that okay you do this something good will happen and like like this is like a weird thing you know like Rudy knows that he's stuck he has to do something at the same time he like you know there's this whole thing of he knows that yeah something is going to happen if I follow Hitogami's words and at the same time there's this concern of what happened before you know where it went completely wrong even though they like you know listened to Hitogami but most of it was kind of because, as Hitogami said, that it is basically your fault because you decided to recruit them, you know. In a way, he's correct, but still, it, it kind of went in a wrong direction. So there's that concern as well. So all these at the same time, it's kind of scary, you know, like, like knowing that, yeah, something is going to happen in the future. And this person, this Hitogami, this god, like, <laughs> like he, he, like, you know, he, he he's, <laughs> uh, you know, he, can, what can I say? He's mischievous. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to tell what's happened, but something is going to happen. It's a surprise. And he just like finds it funny, like not funny, but fun to see how Rudy is going to, you know, uh, do 
uh, like you know how rude is going to do uh, against certain situations and uh, yeah because obviously he like you know Mitokami is a god so yeah he just finds like I guess these type of situations entertaining so yeah he again gave, gives him a hint and this time I think it kind of went a lot better than the previous one because uh, like he takes the food okay goes to the behind the alleyway i think the, the alleyway yeah and meets the demon what did she say the demon king or what just a sec uh, here it is i am kishirika kishirisu kishirika kishirisu the great emperor emperor of the demon world great emperor of the demon world okay so his she's so she's the demon lord is that what she is like great emperor of the demon world that means the demon lord isn't it and she's saying that she like this is like an incar incarnation so okay so that means the demon lord or the great emperor of the demon uh you know uh world also gets reincarnated no not reincarnated uh resur no resurrected or re no reincarnated yeah okay all right so this girl here she one thing's kind of uh i don't know not weird but kind of unusual is the she so she's basically the demon emperor so why is she roaming around you know like isn't she like she, she she's supposed to be a very big deal isn't she so but she's roaming around without any money and anything you know so i'm guessing i don't know we're probably going to get to know that later on like how and why is she in this situation at the first place so yeah okay so one thing that happened is her eyes i don't know what happened there you know when he lo she looked at rudius her eyes kind of changed and she kind of saw rudius and said that okay and she understood something i'm not sure what happened there but most probably she realized something about rudius and that's why she like you know she said that i'm going to like you know give you the d demon eye and she gave rudius the demon eye now <clears throat> So this power, this new power of foresight is obviously going to be immensely helpful, you know, because this is some kind of OP power. Now, one thing that uh, Rudy said that the amount of time that he can see ahead depends on the amount of mana he puts in. So for now, he the maximum, I think he can probably go for two seconds, but it's it's not that simple that means when he used the two second foresight he saw that eris like there's like multiple uh you know like uh visions of eris and that's why he like again reverted back to one second so i'm guessing this two second will come in handy against opponents who are immensely fast you know like two or three times faster than Eris because you know like at Eris's speed when he used the two second foresight he was able to see two or three uh, visions of Eris so if at Eris's place there was some opponent who was two to three times faster than Eris then he would like you know Rudy even after using the two second um, foresight he would see probably one vision because of you know of the swiftness of the fastness you know like so yeah i think it's something like that you know so this this two second will come in handy later on in the future i'm guessing when he'll fo fo face some kind of stronger opponents or well he'll need to know something even a little more quicker you know a, a little more further in the future now i wonder like you know this this kind of has a setting of like for now it's two seconds maybe in the future he'll be able to extend it a lot more you know like 
I don't know. I doubt he'll be able to see like one or two days in the future. I doubt that's going to happen because you know, like the amount of mana he's putting in it is a lot, and he can just see one or two seconds in the future. So this is not like a crystal ball where you can see what's going to happen in your future two or three days later. It's not something like that. This is just a, like a little foresight he gets. So probably like at the max, he'll probably get to see um, maximum like. 10 to 12 seconds in the future you know probably that will be the extent i think so i don't know but you know like this has potential like as he said like this is like a, something that performs better if you put more mana into it so hopefully like you know this he'll be able to improve this as he himself grows up and gets more mana himself so who knows maybe he maybe he will be able to use clairvoyance or something you know where he'll be able to actually realize what's going to happen in the future i don't know i'm just like you know guessing but probably it will not be something like that because as i said this is not some kind of crystal ball which shows you the future this is just a an eye which kind of shows you gives you a foresight as to what's going to happen so yeah it, it probably won't be something that op it, it'll be something that's just going to help him in his fights and we saw you know we we saw how strong he became like swordsmanship Ares is like you know at least in, in you know in rudius's age Ares is the best against like you know uh like at rudius's uh, age uh like you know like against opponents of rudius's age so he defeated Ares just by seeing what's going to happen once again in the future and yeah you know like and rudis is intelligent you know so he can like you know if he sees the future he can properly make a plan and just act accordingly and defeat the person and <clears throat> it's not that rudis is completely bad at swordsmanship he also does swordsmanship you know but he's just you know a little bit less stronger than Ares. so that gap that gap in power level was able he was able to overcome that by using this demon eye and this is just in swordsmanship imagine how better he'll be able to you know perform if he uses this uh, eye in combination with his magic which in itself is op uh, you know incant incantation less uh magic with this demon eye it'll, it'll be really like you know strong he'll be able to do a lot of things <clears throat> and okay now one one little problem this kind of brought up is eris is sulking now <laughs> now i can obviously kind of get that because like you know for her she like you know like what can i say like i can kind of understand her what she's thinking here like she thinks that okay rejet is like strong he can he's protecting us you know he's doing so many things same with rudy he is like you know he's like the brain of our team he's like the leader he's thinking about what to do after this what to do after that he's leading the whole th thing so and i am like you know like the uh like what can i say like i'm, I'm strong at fighting at physical combat so when like you know like when when rudy even triumphed over her like, you know her sense of what can i say like her purpose her uh, yeah purpose you can call it you know her purpose in the party like she felt as if that got you know like uh, what can i say like threatened in a way like you know like she, she she thought that yeah like then what am i good at like what am i even contributing at like i'm doing i'm not doing anything i'm just like you know just tagging along uh, so that's why she started kind of like you know so i can understand that obviously because you know like she she thinks that she is unable to do anything to help them that's basically what she's thinking and that's why she you know after losing she is all like you know and she said it herself that like i at all after all this time i myself i, I thought that yeah I, maybe i'm able to get a little bit closer to your level Ruri. but you know so yeah and like all like it's, it's a weird like you know 
position that all these characters are in like Rujid has his own problems you know he like, he himself is kind of also blaming himself for being unable to like you know like since he's there you know that this whole problem kind of started like of like you know by bringing in more money otherwise they won't be able to go so like Rudy's uh, Rujid himself is kind of uh, being a little bit burdened with that uh, <clears throat> Eris herself is thinking that yeah I'm not helping in any way I'm just like tagging along you know what am i even doing this thing this thing is burdening her rudius the thing that's burdening rudius is like what should i do i need to protect eris i need to bring her back home so i can everyone's uh, relying on me what can i do what next you know i need to do everything all alone and that's why i need to sell this like you know stuff like all the characters like in a like in a weird position here and <clears throat> the thing that doesn't actually help here even more is that they're not talking converse like you know they're not having a conversation they're not discussing properly about their own problems everyone is hiding it you know like as we saw like Rujit kind of com <coughs> confronted Rudius and <coughs> and in the end he said that look like you know was it so bad like we just had a conversation and like you know like it wasn't that bad was it that's what I, like you know is the thing like they need to start conversing more with each other <clears throat> and you know it's kind of difficult to actually like you know bring out your problems and tell them to <clears throat> your friends you know like the things that are actually troubling you it's kind of difficult you know but <clears throat> otherwise they're going to get into problems like this like we saw in season one what problem they faced like when Rudy like you know was taking everything in his on his shoulders he messed up you know someone died because of that and you know that that in itself was something that we realized that yeah rudy needs to talk like they should not like you know let rudy handle and shoulder everything on his own same thing will happen this episode as well he again started shouldering everything on his own but thankfully Rijit realized what was happening he just confronted him and he was like no stop you know like just talk tell me what's the problem and Rudy talked Rudy said that yeah I need to sell this otherwise you know there'll be this problem we either need money or we need to stow away and you know then Richard said that okay like I'm coming into uh, like I'm going, I'm going to like, you know, I'm, I'm taking a uh, like you know what can I say like uh, okay like he, he said that yeah I'll come to a compromise I'll not say anything about any you know bad things that you'll do during this time during this um, journey like this little portion where from like you know uh, in the ship so contact the smuggler that, that you want to contact we're going to go in that in that way in that direction so he came into a comp compromise you know and yeah it's all good now i, I think that the, the, the guy in the end who we saw who rudy saved before was I think that's the smuggler most probably i think and he probably listened to them heard what their problems and he's probably going to i don't know help them get out of here let's just wait for it <clears throat> so <clears throat> yeah that was it that was the first episode now I wonder what Roxy is going to do here because I'm guessing Rudy and Rudy's crew will be out of here within this few within the next episode or something hopefully so and Roxy will keep trying to find him yeah it's a weird <laughs> like you know like a weird thing like they just like you know went past each other and did not realize that so yeah okay maybe we uh, like you know uh, probably we'll see the demon lord again in the future uh the, not the demon lord the demon emperor so yeah uh, she's, <laughs> she's an interesting character like you know like the <laughs> kind of uh, eccentric in a way you know and she she seems 
nice i guess you know like it doesn't seem like like you know the usual demon empress like all like you know demons are what are usually demon demon lords are usually like yeah i'll uh, control the humans you know something like that but he she seems pretty nice so who knows maybe we'll s see something else in the future <laughs> but yeah so that's it so that was this episode and uh, yeah that was a good start and hopefully in the uh, upcoming episodes i don't know if they're going to do it in this season or maybe in the future seasons i'm saying like hopefully rudy actually gets to meet someone you know maybe sylphet if they go back uh, or roxy will, maybe he'll they'll just bump into each other in these upcoming episode hopefully they do but i you know what what i think like that probably won't happen you know at least in this season maybe in the future upcoming seasons they'll meet but this season probably seems like you know with the uh, ending song it kind of seems like this will be like a, a season which will obviously focus more on rigid and eris and rudy as a team so maybe at the finale they'll probably meet or something roxy or some something will happen so yeah let's just see so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh mushiku tensei episode uh season two episode number one so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mushiku tensei season two so until then goodbye and have a nice day